Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, welcome back to the channel for another video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to sell your car quickly online and for the money that it's actually worth. Now let me tell you a little bit about myself real quick. I'm an operations manager at an auto auction in Pennsylvania, so I know a little bit about selling cars. And I know that the dealers are having trouble finding cars. In fact, I'm sure some of you have gotten calls from your dealer asking if you would be willing to trade in your car. Not sure if you have or if you're even willing to, but if you're willing to sell it online, I'm going to show you how to do that. Now I'm going to break this down into five sections. Number one is detailing. Number two is the condition report. Number three is how to fill out the description. Number four is what sites to post on. And number five, we're gonna sell, sell, sell. But before we get started, if you end up liking the video, make sure to hit that like button. This video took a long time to edit and I'm gonna need more money to get some cappuccinos to stay awake to edit these videos. So if you stay to the end, please think about subscribing. Now, most of you know how to clean a car. You know how to vacuum, you know how to wash it, you know how to shine the tires. But if you're not sure how, click right here. I have a playlist on exactly how to do so. Now when you're selling your car, you want your car to look its best. Clean all the trash out of it, vacuum it out, wash it. If you have time to shampoo any of the stains, do that. If you have time to take any of the scratches out, fix any of the dents, anything like that, make sure to get that done before you ever start the condition report. If you're too busy, you're working too much, the kids are a handful, you don't have the time, take it to a local shop or even the dealer. Could run anywhere from $100 to $300 depending on how good or bad the condition of the car is in. Now if you're just looking to get anywhere from $800 to $1,500 for the car, don't waste your time. Just vacuum it out, do the windows, give it a wash, shine the tires, that should be good enough because your time is really not worth that kind of money. Some of you maybe, but not all of you. I and mean, if you have the time to do it, by all means, go ahead and do it. The cleaner the car is, the better off you will be able to sell it. Now you wouldn't want to buy a car all gross and dirty and nasty and smelly. and That means you would just have to do it whenever you bought it. Do the person a favor that you're selling it to, just clean it up. And again, you'll get more money for it. That's one less thing that the buyer has to do. Also, you want that car to look its best whenever you take the pictures for the condition report, which we're gonna go into that segment right now. The condition report is the most important thing when you're trying to sell your car online. Now I'm gonna show you what pictures to take, the angle to take them on, because the pictures will sell most of the car for you. The more damages you can show, or the fact that the car doesn't have any damage at all, that's the best reason for taking all these pictures. Now what we're going to end up doing is, we're going to end up taking anywhere from 45 to 55 pictures. Now I did a condition report on my 22 Honda Civic. Very, very little damage, but I do have some minor damage. I'm going to take you step by step on what pictures to take, and we're going to start with the left front. Now you want the right front of the car on the left hand of the screen and you want the left rear of the car on the right hand of the screen. You want the car to take up the entire frame of the photo. And that pretty much goes for every picture that you're taking unless it has damage. Your second picture is going to be your right front. Your third picture is going to be your right rear. Your fourth picture is going to be your left rear. And then we're going to pop the hood, we're going to take a picture of the engine. You want to take pictures of any modifications that are on the vehicle. Alright, then we're going to drop the hood, we're going to take a picture of the hood. Now, most hoods will have chips, scratches, whatever, so if you end up having a bunch of chips, make sure to take pictures of the chips. If you don't have any chips, just take a picture of the whole hood, make sure the whole hood is in frame. Then you move on to your bumpers. Again, make sure to take any pictures of any of the damage. If you have to, do like a left front and a right front or even a center lower or center bumper. If the fog lights are broken, if the headlights are scratched, make sure to note those damages too. And then you're going to work your way counterclockwise around the car. So you're going to hit the left front fender and then drop down get the wheel. 
And then while you're at the wheel, if you have any tire damage, make sure to take pictures of the tire. And then you move on to the left front door. And then from the left front door, I just hop right into the interior, take a picture of the door panel, the seats, I also will always put the keys on the seats too. I always let the buyer know how many keys they're going to have when they buy the car. So just put the keys on the seat when you take the picture of the front seat. Then I take a picture of the odometer, the cluster, the dashboard, any of the options that are there like the ABS, the track control, turning on and off the idle control brake assist, lane assist, all that stuff. Take a picture of all that stuff. That way the buyer can see that he just has to push a button or that he can see what options are there at the push of a button. If you have navigation, make sure to take a picture of the map. Unfortunately, I do not have navigation in this car. If you have a backup camera, make sure to take a picture of the backup screen, which you can see here. Take a picture of the headliner. If you have damages on any of those make sure to note them then hop back out hit the right rear door open that door take a picture of the inner door panel the seats the carpet then hop your way to the quarter take a picture of the quarter panel now here you don't have to open the gas lid but I choose I choose to open the gas lid to take a picture then I drop down to the left rear wheel move around pop the trunk take a picture of the trunk shut the trunk take a picture of the deck lid take a picture of the rear bumper and then you're just going to make your way around the right side of the car again you're going to hit the quarter panels the doors the interior the fenders and the wheel and tires try to hit them at the angles that i have them angled at you want to take the picture in the best lighting that you can so if you're, you're most likely going to be outside so try to do it on a sunny day. If you're inside a garage, make sure you have really good lighting. But I recommend to do it outside on a sunny day. If you can find a really nice location to do it at too, that just makes it even better. Now as you can see, I do have a couple little minor damages on the car. I have two chips on the hood that I've already touched up. The big goonie that I already made a video on, you can see it right here. And then when I lifted the windshield wiper up, that is also in that video. I do have some minor interior scratches too, so I'm going to make sure to note them in the description. Now if you can leave a description on each photo, make sure to describe what the damage is on the photo. Because if you can't, then you're going to have to put it all in a description, which we're going to right now. Now the pictures told a lot of the story, now it's time for you to finish the story off in a description. You want to start with a year, make model trim level miles and VIN number and the reason I say VIN number I usually wouldn't do that but the reason I say VIN number is because if someone wants to run a Carfax on it you might want to let them or if you don't want to do that maybe put a note in the description to email you if you want the VIN number so you can run a Carfax or an auto check if you have access to auto check now in the pictures I listed all the damages in the picture itself. I highly recommend you do that if you have the capability. Download a uh, Photoshop app on your phone and just put a text on the pictures. That way you can describe the damage on the picture and not have to sit there and try to describe it in four or five paragraphs depending on how bad the condition of the car is. But if you have to do that, make sure to do it in the same order that you took the pictures in and make sure to note all the damage. List all mechanical conditions. If it has engine noise, if the engine light is on, if the track light's on, ABS light's on, TPMS light's on. Note any lights. Note if it has a misfire. If you know that if you know what's wrong with the car, make sure to put it in the description. Note the last time you had any service done to the vehicle. If you have prior invoices to work that you've done make sure to tell that in the description as well note the last time you had a tranny flush if you ever had tranny work if it's a manual have you ever replaced the clutch trucks rear end services differentials have you had any repairs done to those all-wheel drive systems those types of things 
note any repairs that you've done, parts you've replaced, that might help sell the car as well. That way the buyer knows that, oh, this has been done, I don't have to do that for quite a while. Note if you've replaced the brakes recently. Any kind of repairs that you have done within the past year of owning that car, make sure to put a note in the description and also the dates that you had it done if you can remember. If you know if the vehicle's been in an accident or not, make sure to put that in there. Where was the damage repaired due to the accident? Previous repair in the car, make sure to note that. If you had the bumpers painted, the hood painted, the fenders, make sure to put that in the description too. If you know if the vehicle has structural damage, make sure to put that in the description as well, because that's a big one. The description areas on some of these sites are big, some are small, so you might have to shorten what you're going to say, so you might have to abbreviate, which we're going to talk about next when we talk about what sites you're going to post on. So what site should you put it on? It doesn't matter what site you put it on. You can put it on eBay, Craigslist, Facebook, Pennsylvania has Penn Live. If your state has its own website, go ahead and throw it up on there. It doesn't matter. The way you just did the detailing, the conditional report, all those pictures, the description, you laid out all the damages, it doesn't matter. It'll sell on any of those sites. Now, you've detailed the car, you've done the condition report, you've done the description, you figured out what site you want to post it on, now it's time to come up with a price. Now you already might have a loan out on it that you have to get a certain amount, or there's just a certain amount that you need to reach. Unfortunately, it might pan out that the car is not worth as much as you need it to be. By doing what I just told you to do, this will help you get the most value out of the car that you're trying to sell. So if you're not sure how to price your car, go to www.kellybluebook.com or you can go to www.blackbook.com. Kelly Blue Book is retail, Black Book is more like a wholesale. Where you're looking at, you're kind of looking like right in the middle about where you're going to land. You'll get more selling it on your own than you will going to a dealer. The dealer will try to shortcut you. I'm not saying the person on the street won't. Either way, it's your decision whether you want to sell the car or not for the price that they're offering to give you. And now that you picked your sites that you want to post it on, hit that publish button and just wait for that baby to sell. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please leave me a comment down below letting me know if you got what you asked for. Enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up check these two videos out right here click this if you're interested and as always this is your boy Miller I will see you in the next one